G'day everyone, Gunman here. So I'm going to take you through these Mini Cooper D wheels. So start off same as always, give it a pretzel. So here we go, giving it a tack rag. That's pretty standard, always give it a good tack rag before you start painting. And so we're doing a color change on this from silver to black. So flip it up first, do the inside. Make sure you get all the inside, just in case you see you don't want to see through to the different color inside there. I've found this is the best way to do it. You can do it in two stages by painting the inside first, but then you end up getting a masking edge if you do that. So flip it up, do the inside, flip it back over, do the outside. They're actually quite a tricky, tricky thing to paint wheels. So you start off doing the spokes and just work your way around in a circle. Do each spoke one side and come back around and do the other side of each spoke. So once all the spokes are done, you do the inner rim. A lot of gun control is required while painting wheels. They're really easy to get runs and dry spray. So here we go with the clear coat. So I put two coats of base coat on, but I didn't bore you with all the extra paintwork. Let's cut the video down a bit. So here we go, there clear coat. You see how I started at the right hand side and just roll it back so I can get all the way around it. I found this is the best way to paint wheels. I can tell you now it's a lot a lot harder than what it may look. So here we go for our clear coat. Same thing as the base coat. You just do your, do your spokes first. Do one side. Just walk the way around. This is the best way I've found. If you try doing one opening at a time, you end up getting lost and you think, you think to yourself, well, what have I done? What haven't I done? So I've found this is definitely the best way. You do the spokes, walk around in a circle and then bang, do the inner, inner of the rim and then you go a quick go over the top and then one around the outside. You want, it, you want your clear nice and thin and use a fast hardener because they do run, wheels do run. So here's my second coat of clear. I won't worry about putting a second coat of clear on the inside as long as it's pretty shiny. It's gonna look you're not gonna see inside there, you know. So same thing on the second coat. Get a little bit wetter on your second coat to get it nice and glossy. Lots of trigger control. You can wind the fluid in a bit too to stop getting runs. You wind your fluid needle in. These wheels actually came up really well. I was really impressed with them. Uh, the boss doesn't usually give me compliments on my work, but he came past and he made, made sure he told me that they looked really good. So I was real happy with them. You can see there's no real dirt in them. Good gloss level. No real orange peel in it, you know. So Here's some photos of the car. It's a Mini Cooper D. Car out the front and work all detailed and looking all nice with the black wheels on it. Originally they were silver, so customers should be very happy with that. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out next week for the next episode from the Gunman.